Hi everybody, welcome back. For those that are new to my channel, my name is Hannah and I'm also known as Tropical Plant Addict for obvious reasons. I've had my channel for about six months now and I'm filming in my office today. I'm usually filming downstairs in the living room but I thought it'd be a nice change of scenery. I've got my um, giant seven foot monstera here and some, some other plants. I actually just did a, a little office tour so if you haven't seen that I'll link that below for you. Um, I just really wanted to talk to you about um, how I got into tropical plants, why, how it came about. Um, so basically around March time um, this year I decided to renovate the garden. I moved into this house last year and basically the garden was just a complete blank canvas. There was just a wonky shed at the back, just a lawn, a very small concrete patio, um, a big tree in the corner and I decided to completely uh, renovate the garden. Um, I guess that started me off on the tropical plants because I decided to go with a tropical theme for my garden. Originally I chose Japanese and then after I um, got my little tiki bar, I decided to go with a tropical theme. Um, so I probably would have done it a little bit different now if I'd started from scratch again, but I'm really pleased with how it's come out and I'm still gonna add little bits to it. I haven't quite finished yet. I really wanna get a tree fern. So after all the fun of renovating the garden and just en really enjoying the summer out there, I absolutely loved it. And obviously taking care of all the plants all summer, I thought, oh, it's gonna be really kind of boring and a bit sad like when it comes to winter. So I'm not going to have any plants to care for. So during the garden renovations, that's when I started collecting tropical plants for inside. And I think one of the first plants I got was my Maranta. Let me go and grab it. So this was one of the first plants that really caught my eye at my local garden centre. It's grown really big now. When I first got it, it was really small and there are um, three little Marantas in here, but they've just like gone crazy. And this is one of my favorite house plants. I actually, um, I just went for lunch today with my friend for her birthday. And we went to this really lovely place in the New Forest called The Pig in Brockenhurst. And um, they had loads of really nice plants everywhere. They had um, a Maranta, they had a Monstera. The conservatory where they serve you lunch was just full of plants, it was amazing. It's got beautiful grounds. It was raining today so we didn't get a chance to um, walk around the grounds which is a bit of a shame. But I'll definitely be going back there and having another look. But it was lovely and obviously I was just walking around and I was like, oh my god, they've got a Maranta, they've got a Monstera. My friend probably thought I was mental. But um, yeah, this is um, one of my first tropical plants I purchased this year. and. I just absolutely love it and I've got a couple of these, I've got one in the bathroom and then I've got the, the plain green version downstairs as well in the living room. I'd love to get the lemon lime version but you can't seem to find those in the UK for some reason. If anyone knows um, where you can get one from in the UK let me know, that'd be great. Still loads of new growth coming out from this one. Um, I think it needs a trim. I think I'm going to propagate it and then put the stems back in. Um, but I'll make a video if I do that. Also, my naughty birds have been chewing on some of these um, bottom leaves, which is oh, really annoying. But yeah, here he is. So after I purchased my Maranta, I just went on and started looking at other various tropical plants. A lot of them are pet friendly because I've got birds downstairs. so. Um, calatheas are pet friendly, so I ended up getting loads of different um, calatheas, as you well know if you've seen any of my um, plant tour videos. So I tend to keep my more poisonous plants upstairs in the bathroom and my office. So I've got my giant monstera here, which I rescued five months ago, and I've got my lemon and lime, um, philodendron, string of hearts, a few others dotted around this room. Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you as well, my friend bought me this really cute little, um, I'm not sure what you'd call it, it's something that hangs in your plant pots, like a decorative thing, an early Christmas present. It's a little hedgehog. How cute is that?
I have had a few of my plants for quite a long time. I've had my Calathea roof, oh, what was it called, roof for barber or something. I've had that for about 11 years. Um, so that's quite old. And my agave, um, which is downstairs. And my peace lily I've had for quite a long time, probably about five years. Um, I think when I was at university I had a Dracaena and I had that for years, but I'm not sh quite sure what happened to that. I don't have that one anymore. So I've always had plants, but I've never really kind of um, had my plant obsession until after I'd done my garden. And then since then, obviously, I've just been like, collecting plants um, for most of the rooms in my house. Still not quite finished. There's still a few on my wish list. Um, check out my plant tours if you haven't seen them already. Um, the downstairs is quite a, a good tour because it's quite a big room, so there's lots, lots of plants in there for you to see. And I'll be doing another tour for you very soon. Um, as I say, check out my office tour because I've just done um, a little tour of my office. This is where I work every day, um, although I had a day off today, which was nice. Also, I just wanted to update you on my Calathea White Fusion that I cut back a few months ago now because it wasn't looking its best. And now it's, um, it's kind of growing back really nice. Oops. So pretty. No crispy bits yet. Uh, um, my Calathea White Fusion that's downstairs in the living room, that's um, looking pretty crispy now. I have a feeling like if you cut these back and you, you let them um, regrow, they kind of adapt to the environment a bit better and they grow back um, a lot nicer. So we'll see, we'll see if this one goes crispy. I mean, it's not particularly even humid in my office. I only have the humidifier downstairs. Um, I mean, I do miss the plants in here occasionally but I wouldn't really say it was um, as humid up here as it is downstairs, so I'm quite um, surprised that there's no um, crispy bits on this one. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you how it's looking. I thought it might be quite fun to do a Q&A video, so if you've got any questions for me that you'd like me to answer on a video, um, just comment below with your question and just hashtag it with Q&A. And yeah, I mean, I'll do my best to answer all your questions anyway, but if you actually want it read out on the video, um, just hashtag it with q and I thought that might be quite a fun thing to do. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my um, little video today and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Take care everybody, bye. Just hung my string of pearls up here on the window. Hopefully she'll be happy there. Plenty of light. The pot keeps spinning though, which is really bugging me. Might have to rearrange the pearls. <laughs>